next escape that we're going to work on is called the wheelbarrow. It's kind of a variation or kind of the next in line for a chain of escapes off of that last one. So we're inside control. Our opponent's got a good side mount. I'm going to create space by using that exact same bump. I'm bumping up and creating the space that I need. Notice that I'm no longer on the flat of my back. But my opponent is going to, I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going for this establishing guard escape. My opponent is going to feel this and is going to push his chest flat down on my sternum. And when he does that, now I've lost the position. Okay? So as, as I feel that happening, I want to use his momentum shift and I just want to keep it going. Now when I do that, I don't want to take my opponent straight over me. I want to take his legs with this hand and you'll see how I kind of push him over at an angle. I'm not taking him straight over this way, I'm taking him down toward my legs a little bit. So we're here and I create space. He feels that he pushes down. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pull down on the head. I'm going to use his hand like I'm throwing a baseball. Okay? So I just use that. I throw his legs straight down into a side control position. Let's look at that again. We're here. I'm going to create some space trying to establish the guard. I give him a good bump. His sternum comes down. Hook the head. Push the arms. So we're here. He comes down. I just go straight over into my side mount. Okay. Our, our partner has side control. Okay. I'm going to create space. He goes to put his chest down. I push over at an angle. Coming up into my side control. One last angle. We're here. I bump to create space. When I bump, he wants to take away that space. So I bump, he pushes down, take him straight over. All right? Again, we're here. I create space. He pushes. I just use that momentum. I push him straight over into side control. It's called your wheelbarrow escape from the side mount position. That's the next in line of this chain of uh, escapes that we're going to use. And we've got some other options after that.